Well, we're a little over two weeks out from Election Day and thousands gathered at Cook's Garage this afternoon for yet another Trump train, of course, in support of the president's reelection. Organizers say the first event went so well, they decided to have another one. And KMAX Amy Kazera covered that rally for us today. And Amy, you saw it firsthand. Just how many cars would you say showed up today? Matthew, there's no way to know exactly how many cars were there, but just talking to some of the attendees, it's safe to say the number was probably in the thousands, and the event was a lot more than just a parade. Before the cars took off, several local leaders, including Congressman Jody Arrington, spoke at the event as well. A sea of red, white, and blue filled the parking lot outside Cook's Garage this afternoon. It's definitely a fun and unique experience. I love to see our community come together for a unified cause and, and purpose, and it's just great to see everybody out here. Thousands of cars decked out in Trump flags driving around Loop 289 for Lubbock's second Trump train. A lot of people that couldn't make it to the first one wanted to do another one, so that's why we're having a, a second one. So a lot, of, a lot of new people, different people here this time. What started as an idea among friends quickly turned into a major rally. Um, it's actually a friend of mine's idea. He had a crazy idea. We wanted to go go out and cruise the Lubbock Loop with some Trump flags, and and uh, we just took it from there. We were like, well, let's make this thing huge, and uh, we reached out to as many people as we could, and the response we got was amazing. So we contacted Cooks to ask if we could have it here, and uh, things just escalated from there. And with election season in full swing, local leaders like Congressman Jody Arrington came to speak at the event as well. Have I convinced y'all that, that we need a guy that's actually going to step up to the plate, fight for the country, and do what he said he's going to do? However, with COVID-19 cases on the rise in Lubbock, some may be concerned about this event contributing to more spread. But organizers say they are encouraging social distancing. Well, we're, we're outside. We're trying to social distance. We're trying to tell everybody, you know, no groups larger than 10. And, uh, you know, we hope everybody stays safe. In the end, it's, it's, it's everybody's own choice on, on what they want to do. We can't control what each and every individual does. Many attendees say they're proud to be a part of history, voicing why this poor Trump's re-election. Come support Trump. So definitely, I, I think he's, he's reaching voters here in West Texas that he probably didn't have back in 2016. People want to label us as a bunch of white supremacists and stuff. It's not true. We love our country. We love our God. We love, we love uh, our law enforcement. You know, and there, sure, there's some bad apples in uh, law enforcement. There's bad apples everywhere. You can love him or hate him, but uh, I love him and my family does and Trump 2020. There will be another Trump rally at Cook's Garage this Thursday at 4 o'clock with Turning Point founder Charlie Kirk speaking. Organizers say they're glad the community can come together for these events.